guys, it's Ben from Central Coast Personal Training with uh, another round of uh, another edition of Client Stories. Got with me Paul Stanbridge uh, today. How are you doing, Paulie? Hey, all good. <laughs> uh, so, mate, let's just dive right into it. Um, so, you've been training with us since uh, last February now, so come up to a year. Yeah. Yeah. A uh, couple of stats for you. So, with 10 kilos down, 5% body fat uh, down as well and the measurements chest waist and hips uh, combined total of 22 centimeters uh, that you've lost yeah so come on a little bit um, from when you originally started so what, what, what were you doing before you started doing the PT well before I started um, I started with you in February I've been to the gym I started the gym in January with a yeah. friend of mine who you trained yeah previously yeah it was Wayne wasn't it yeah it was it was Wayne uh, he got me into it um, so I'd lost probably another eight kilos before I actually came to see you yeah um, before I went to the gym I was I felt like I was in a rut yeah um, all I was doing was going to work then going to the pub after work Three, three days a week. I wasn't drinking excessively, but just having a couple of beers and yeah, and things like that. I wasn't. I didn't feel like I was really going anywhere. Um, yeah. I didn't feel like I was completing anything. Um, I just felt like I was just going through the motions. Okay. You so know. Before, before you joined the gym, though, you weren't doing anything really. Just no working, going no, all that just, kind of stuff. I, I mean, I'm a I'm a carpenter builder, so I had quite a, I've got quite a physical job anyway. Yeah. But I was starting to struggle. Yeah. I, I, I felt because it was when I hit fifty. Um, yeah. I thought it was, it, this is getting harder. Yeah. You know, I need to do something about this. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, yeah. What What were you looking to achieve then at that time? I really just wanted to slim down a bit. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit fitter, so I was um, able yeah, to cope with the heat a little bit more yeah. and, and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Um, did you have like a certain like body shape or a certain amount of weight you did want to lose, or a certain fitness level you wanted to be, or just kind of just ballpark? No, I just really wanted to just like yeah, probably drop about ten kilos or something yeah. like that. Okay. But then when it did start to come off, I started to want to lose a little bit more. And yeah. Yeah, then it, I started to really see my fitness levels go up. And, yeah. Um, I didn't need as much sleep, and I was a lot more active. And yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. a lot happier. Yeah, a lot well, happier. Well, um, what were you struggling before you did any PT? Then what were you struggling with? What? Because you obviously you've lost, you started to lose a little bit of weight, so you lost eight kilos already. Yeah. But what before you started with us? Like what? What were you struggling with the most? It was. I needed, um, I've always been very motivated, but there's always a point that you get to where you you feel that you need an extra pair of hands or an extra voice at the side of you to get you over yeah. the hurdles. Yeah. Um, you know you can push yourself, but it's so easy for you to just go, oh, that's enough. Yeah. But when yeah. someone stood at the side of you going, no, that's not enough. Yeah, that helps. Yeah, immensely, immensely. So, what were you looking for then? Like, what was the thing you were kind of looking for? Just that push, or was it guidance? Like, what, yeah, what was gui it? because it was all new to me. Um, the last time I was in a gym, I was twenty. Yeah, right. Okay. So it was like twenty-five. You know, nearly thirty, over thirty years. Yeah, fifty-one now. So over thirty years ago, um, and then I'd never ever trained. To the level I'm at now, yeah, I've never trained this intensely, yeah, or all this often, yeah. Um, you're in the well, you're in the gym what five five days a week now? Yeah, you say? five days a week. I um, before work usually. Yeah, all, all, always before work now. It used to be after work, but now yeah. I get there at um, four thirty. Yeah, nice and early. Yeah, nice and early. And uh, I generally walk out of there at ten past six. Yeah, in the morning, straight to work. Then uh, straight to work. Yeah, and then I do eight hours on site. Yeah. So it's a full day, 
Um, but I feel as if I'm achieving something and I'm actually using the best of my time. Yeah. I'm not wasting any time. Yeah. You know, time's old, precious. Yeah, and that old excuse of like time, don't have enough time of things. Ah, oh, look, you can make an excuse for anything. Um, I used to, but now, look, it, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but I much prefer getting up early, yeah. going to the gym early, it's nice and quiet. Yeah. Um, and once it's done, it's done, you can kind of go through yeah. the day, nothing comes in the way, that's exactly right. And then you've still got um, the end of the day to do whatever you want, go shopping yeah, or yeah. do them sorts of things. Yeah. So it, yeah. it works for my lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. right. Got to, like you say, you've got to find something that works with like your work schedule, family life, yeah, kind of like social life as well. Yeah, that's exactly. That kind of thing. Um, well, why did he choose us though and not another personal trainer, so to speak? Well, it was recommendation. Yeah. Um, so, like I say, it was Wayne, uh, Wayne Champion that got me into um, yeah. into the gym. Yeah. And I was going with him like three days a week and, and stuff like that. And I just said to him one day, um, we both agreed that we got to a point where there was only so much he could like teach me about yeah. machines and what muscle groups do this yeah. and. and um, a little bit about the diet, yeah, right. and I uh, just asked for a recommendation, yeah. and he recommended you. Yeah. Well, what is it they buy you the most from your personal training over the period of time you've had? Um, it's the being pushed in the right direction. Um, obviously, being trained by someone that's got a positive attitude helps yes. an awful yeah. lot, and. Um, being trained by somebody that knows that you, what you're capable of doing and pushing you to that, um, yeah, is a big help. Yeah. So what do you start to with your with your results and things? What what element do you reckon has been the most valuable to get to get your ten kilos off, to lose body fat, get your fitness level up? Like your training sort of thing, the guy that's there, the nutrition thing, is it the accountability yeah, the, also? The, 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 the nutrition has been a massive um, help. Yeah. Um, I never realised it was such a science. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, I, if anybody would have told me that you actually, to lose weight, you eat more food, <laughs> I would have never believed that. Um, but it's not, the ta it's not the food, it's the type of food you yeah, eat, it's exactly. the times that you eat, it's the, the food groups that you eat. Yeah. Um, which might sound boring to a lot of people, yeah. but once you get into it, you, you make it your own and you, you eat the food that you yeah. like, you cook it. Yeah. Um, you're being you, since the start. You've kind of been open to that growth of like, you know, it's like adopt slightly different habits, etc. I think you've got to have the right mindset to actually want to do that in the first place, though. You know, uh, it, it's, 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 there's no point in like fucking a dead horse. So just be, you've got no. to want to do it yourself as well. You've got to be open to um, people giving you ideas. This is why you go to a personal trainer. You don't go to a personal trainer because you just want somebody to train you. you you go to a personal trainer because he's got the knowledge that you need. Yeah, it's the whole package of things. Yeah, to progress. Yeah. Um, you know, there's no point going to a personal trainer and saying, oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Because he knows, it's his job. You know, yeah. 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 That's why it works for yeah. me. Yeah. What, what, what does life look like for you now? Then what can you do now that you couldn't do like 11 months ago? Oh, me, well, I mean, I, I trained this morning um, and I, I came off one of the machines and I felt sick because I pushed myself that hard. But the, no, everyone could do that. No, but my recovery time is uh, unbelievable yeah. now. Um, is, that, is that helping you through the day of work yeah. as well? Energy yeah. levels? Yeah, my energy levels are massively up. Um, I, I don't get fatigued a lot more than what I used to. Um, yeah. And I, I'm just a, in general, I'm just a happier person. Yeah. I think you've got a new wardrobe now as well, haven't you? Oh yeah, it cost me a lot because <laughs> I threw everything. I had to throw everything away, hoping that I'll never go back to that size again. I know you've um, got to get rid of it. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, it's yeah, new, um, new you, new look, new. It's new life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's as you get older. 
precious. Yeah. You make the most of it. Yeah, exactly. you know, and look after yourself. It depends on your lifestyle, what you want to have, have a life, you know? Yeah, exactly, exactly right. You've got to want to do it. Yeah. Nobody can force you to do it. What was the biggest reason like, why you wanted to change? Because the biggest thing really is why. So if you've got a strong enough why, you can like overcome like any power. So why, like, why would you, why, why choose to, you know, get in shape or... Probably, it was, I think hitting 50 was a big turning point for me. Um, I'd separated from my wife and yeah. then wife. Yeah. And I've been apart from her for a few years and I thought, yeah, I'm... I, I need to, I, I want something, I, I want to get back into life, I want to, yeah. I, I want a life all over again. Yeah. And that was just a massive uh, driving force yeah. for me. It's like a new building new chapter then, isn't it? Yeah. Like one, one door shut and yeah, one door open. Right. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, what what do you do now then to uh, maintain that motivation, that focus? You know, you've maintained your, your weight now since since June, so we've kind of kept resetting goals with strength stuff, etc. Well, like, you know, so body, body weight, that's not a problem now. I know after Christmas, there's maybe a little bit of extras. Yeah. But no doubt you're going to grab that back again anyway. Oh, yeah. But yeah. What, 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 how do you actually stay motivated or not, like, go back to where you were? Enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. You have to enjoy it. If, if, you, if it feels like it's a, a chore, you're not going to enjoy it. You have to yeah. make it. It's not a job that you're doing. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. You have to change your life to yeah. to make it work, or otherwise. In in my view, anyway. In, oh, I uh, definitely agree with that. You know, if it, it's go to the gym, enjoy it. Don't just go. Oh God, I've got to go to the gym again. Yeah. Because otherwise, you, you'll quit after a couple of months. Yeah. You, you just won't. You, you have to enjoy it. Yeah. Make it enjoyable. Yeah. I think yeah. it doesn't. Even if it's not the gym, you got. I like having the element of the gym. I love love gyms all my life. I yeah. think, think that's important. Yeah. But even if it's not like swimming, outside stuff, whatever it may be, sport. Whatever you've got to incorporate that into your lifestyle. Well, well look, we live in a fabulous country. The sun shines most of the time. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. You know, What's the point in sitting inside and watching telly all day? Yeah. You know? yeah. That's not living, is it? No. Not at yeah. all. Yeah. Okay. Alright, mate. Well, I think that's going to wrap us up. Okay, all so, good. Mate, appreciate your, your time, mate. But uh, what would be your top tip for somebody who's like started? Imagine somebody's. You're looking back now, yeah. And you'd start again. What would be a top tip, like for somebody just starting now, especially after Christmas, New Year? Yeah. So moving forward, what would you reckon would be a top top tip? Just give it time. Yeah. And don't um, don't quit at the first hurdle. Mm. Yeah. Because it gets easier. Perseverance. It does. Yeah. yeah. It gets easier, and it, it does. You know, it's it's hard at first, and I'd be a fool, uh, I'd be I'd be lying if I said that it wasn't hard. Yeah. But. Once you get to a point that you feel comfortable with yourself, maintaining is so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. So you just you just got to be persistent. Yeah. And, and anything in life, it, um, it's, it's if it's worth having, it's a little bit hard. Yeah. You know, and um, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Good words, mate. All Appreciate right, mate. it. All right, guys. I'll see you next time uh, on the next one. Um, and I'll see you, mate, in the gym. No worries. <laughs>